what are your thoughts on the team performance this week? I'm proud of the fight that our team put up this past weekend. Um, I know that we have a lot of potential and that we have the capability to place higher than we did, but I'm also proud of what we were able to accomplish as a team. I'm also really encouraged by our third place. I think it's a natural thing for a cross country team to like come out of a race wanting to do better. And I think that proves that we have a lot of grit and a lot of ambition as a team. So I'm really proud of, as Priya said, the fight we put in, and I think there's more to come. Um, yeah, this weekend we worked a lot on like pack running and really sticking all together and putting ourselves out there, and really sticking with the competition and with our teammates. Um, and I think that that's something we executed pretty well um, this past weekend and is something that is going to be really um, important come regionals and something that we are going to be really good at come regionals as well. What went into the team's performance this past weekend? Um, well, at this point in the season, we have a lot of really solid workouts under our belt. Um, as Lucy mentioned earlier, we practiced a lot of pack running, um, working with each other, taking turns leading. Um, we've practiced switching gears at different points in the race. Um, we've done work on the hilly parts of our course. We've done work on um, more flat areas. We were prepared for lots of terrain. Um, and on a personal end, I was working a lot on my kick and the end of my race and gaining confidence in my own strength. I think for my performance, uh, this was the first race I've run since August because after our meet at Wellesley, I have uh, I had a stress reaction in my foot. So I've spent a lot of time in what we call our cubicle, which is where we have our cross training equipment. So I've spent many, many, many hours on a bike preparing for New Max, and I think that gave me a lot of mental strength that I was able to use in the race to my advantage. Um, yeah, going into this race, we focused a lot about a lot about the uh, like mental aspect of it. In the week leading up, we had multiple team meetings, um, just talking about how we were gonna look at the race tactically and what we were going to try to do tactically. But then also on our own time, we spent time visualizing the race, visualizing the results that we wanted from the race, taking some time to ourselves to think about how we were gonna get there. So, yeah. <laughs> What does training look like next weekend heading into regionals? Um, from here on out, it's really just little tune-ups, um, working on quick foot, foot speed um, and you know shorter, faster reps, things that we wouldn't typically do earlier in the season. Um, but at this point, we've put in most of the work that needs to be done. So it's just making little adjustments um, and getting ready to run fast. Yeah, I think the hay is certainly in the barn. We've put in all the work that we need to put in, and our coaches said that for this next week and a half, what's most important is mindset and recovery. So prioritizing our sleep, prioritizing our nutrition, making sure we're recovering fully after each of our practices, and also getting into a sort of a confident mindset, because that's what we really need when we go into regionals. So practicing confidence, practicing the like keeping our shoulders back and feeling really excited and ready to race. Yeah, I'm just gonna echo what both of them said. We have like a really strong base now, and so, you know, all like the traditional maintenance and everything is done. We just have to kind of work on the faster stuff and get to the race. Um, and it's gonna be really good and like change that mindset to, you know, really going for it um, and just kind of staying super excited. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. We're really excited for regionals.